And a ruler asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. And he said, All these I have kept from my youth. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, One thing you still lack. Sell all that you have and distribute to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. But when he heard these things, he became very sad, for he was extremely rich. Jesus, seeing that he had become sad, said, How difficult it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God! For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard it said, Then who can be saved? But he said, What is impossible with man is possible with God. And Peter said, See, we have left our homes and followed you. And he said to them, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God, who will not receive many times more in this time and in the age to come eternal life. A certain ruler asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. He replied, I have kept all these since my youth. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, There is still one thing lacking. Sell all that you own and distribute the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But when he heard this, he became sad, for he was very rich. Jesus looked at him and said, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God! Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard it said, Then who can be saved? He replied, What is impossible for mortals is possible for God. Then Peter said, Look, we have left our homes and followed you. And he said to them, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God, who will not get back very much more in this age and in the age to come eternal life. A certain ruler asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered. No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother. All these I have kept since I was a boy, he said. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, You still lack one thing. Sell everything you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he became very sad, because he was very wealthy. Jesus looked at him and said, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God! Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard this asked, Who then can be saved? Jesus replied, what is impossible with man is possible with God. Peter said to him, We have left all we had to follow you. Truly I tell you, Jesus said to them, No one who has left home or wife or brothers or sisters or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God will fail to receive many times as much in this age and in the age to come eternal life. Once a religious leader asked Jesus this question, Good teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus asked him. Only God is truly good. But to answer your question, you know the commandments. You must not commit adultery. You must not murder. You must not steal. You must not t testify falsely. 
Honor your father and mother. The man replied, I've obeyed all these commandments since I was young. When Jesus heard his answer, he said, There is still one thing you haven't done. Sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But when the man heard this, he became very sad, for he was very rich. When Jesus saw this, he said, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. In fact, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard this said, Then who in the world can be saved? He replied, What is impossible for people is possible with God. Peter said, We've left our homes to follow you. Yes, Jesus replied, And I assure you that everyone who has given up house or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God will be repaid many times over in this life and will have eternal life in the world to come. One day, one of the local officials asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to deserve eternal life? Jesus said, Why are you calling me good? No one is good, only God. You know the commandments, don't you? No illicit sex, no killing, no stealing, no lying. Honor your father and mother. He said, I've kept them all for as long as I can remember. When Jesus heard that, he said, Then there's only one thing left to do. Sell everything you own and give it away to the poor. You will have riches in heaven. Then come, follow me. This was the last thing the official expected to hear. He was very rich and became terribly sad. He was holding on tight to a lot of things and not about to let them go. Seeing his reaction, Jesus said, Do you have any idea how difficult it is for people who have it all to enter God's kingdom? I'd say it's easier to thread a camel through a needle's eye than get a rich person into God's kingdom. Then who has any chance at all, the others asked. No chance at all, Jesus said, if you think you can pull it off by yourself. Every chance in the world, if you trust God to do it. Peter tried to regain some initiative. We left everything we owned and followed you, didn't we? Yes, said Jesus, and you won't regret it. No one who has sacrificed home, spouse, brothers and sisters, parents, children, whatever, will lose out. It will all come back multiplied many times over in your lifetime, and then the bonus of eternal life.